This is Mario Central reporting to you live here at this door that clearly, I think you know what to do. I mean, Eggman's a pretty narcissistic guy. I think I'm going to go ahead and spell his name out because why not put your own name as a password, right? I see nothing wrong with that. I think if you go over here, I, I actually don't know what this does. What does this do? Just try, oh, that's cool. What? What? what I, I don't know what's going on. Um, hello? Oh, Chow Garden! Oh, it's another... Really? This is another entrance? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it's a totally different area, too. Oh, I never knew this. I didn't go too much extensively into this Chow Garden in this game. I went much more into the Sonic Adventure 2, but... Wow, you even got different areas, too. That's kind of cool. I want to crack this egg. I was trying to do it the last... Oh, there we go. There's my lovely Chow. How are you doing, you, you little adorable blue puffness? Oh, my God, look at you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so cute. It's almost like Maru. So cute. Oh, well, but this is another area you can come to. Just telling you. And there's another egg, so... That's kind of cool. Okay, so you got this tropical area over here. And you got the fountain area, so not bad. Alright, so I definitely got to keep that in mind. Because I definitely want to try this. You know, doing this. Because I want to try to get those emblems. And see what happens. Because I've never raised the challenge in this game. I'm pretty much... I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. But the funny thing is, is I thought that was the way I was supposed to go. I, I didn't realize that was just a bonus area. Um, this isn't good. This is the first time I actually don't know what to do. Uh, this is... Mrs. Are you gonna help me cleaning the lady? Clean the lady, don't ignore me! I'll show you who's closed! Open! No! What do you mean the monorail? Is nothing working here? Oh wait, that reminds me. Monorail! Monorail! Mono do Entry restrict Why am I not wait, what do I have to Oh wait, I know. Oh I'm stupid. All I just have to do is leave. Yeah, I know. Simple solutions to simple problems. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I always do this. Every time. Every time. I had to go check the monorail. I had to go ask the cleaning lady. I had to go to the hot shelter state. I, no, I couldn't just think of leaving. Brilliant. Yeah, that's okay. We are now left. And we get into it with this very epic cutscene. Oh my god. What are, you, what are you doing, Eggman? You don't talk to my girl like that. That's why the birdie was important. Be gone, all of you. This is all I really need. Wait, Sonic, take it quickly! Darn it! What? What? What is going on? Oh, that doesn't look good. And then he just leaves, of course. Yeah, this guy's threatening. He's, even, he's got a gun for a hand. Oh my goodness. Alright, Sonic, you've got your work cut out for you. So it's another character boss fight, kind of like Knuckles. So you can guess that this guy is going to be an unlockable character. Whoa! You can't get me. This one's more easy, though, because Knuckles can actually counter it. This guy really can't. Ah, oh, yeah, we've got him now. He's ours for the day. You can do it, Sonic. Go! You can do You have him right there. Stop staring at him. Use your light dash something. Yeah, that's right. Sprint. Do it. Fin <gasps> what? No, stop, Sonic. Wait a second. How did she manage to outrun Sonic? I can't believe this. She actually outran Sonic. That is living proof right there. She is faster than Sonic. I bet you Sonic was looking for an excuse so he ran slow. Whoa, what is that? Man, that has Sonic worried. Well, what about you? I'll find that Eggman and put him out of commission. 
That's telling him. Alright, so now you're probably wondering, well, what in the world do we do? Well, if you talk to this guy, that's exactly what you- Oh, wait, um, apparently I'm right next to it. Okay, wonderful. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original It just ship. transported me right to the captain's there room. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it. So now. basically what that what the red dot basically just said is you got to go to the bridge and or you got to go to the captain's room and that's you get transported right there. I didn't realize they automatically teleported you there. That's kind of cool. Where does this go? Oh, it's oh, it's a trailer rings. Okay. Speed up. I love that I got this upgrade. It's like for people that actually missed out on that cuz you don't normally see that. Now, how do I get this to move? I know this moves, and then you hit the switch underneath it. I just don't know how to get it to move. Yeah, I know that. I even see a door back there, but I kind of need you to, you know, move. Oh, oh can I, maybe I should just try sitting on it. Uh, let me let me try sitting on the chair. I can act like Eggman. Look, it's my empire and how great it is. Yep, there we go. That's how you move it. Oh, interesting. You just have to sit on his chair. There we go. That's the switch. He hides it under his chair. Kind of a smart place when you think about it. I mean, who would think you actually had to sit on the chair, but kind of a bad idea, too, because someone could just be like, oh, I need a breather, and then, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, well, now we finally got the ship to change shape, so we can finally go and attack Eggman. Let's do it. There he is. Okay, so he's in the middle of the ship now. We get to take on the boss. And just like normal Eggman etiquette, he's going to barrage us with cheesy lines. <laughs> like, get, get a load of this. Not now again. Chaos is some freaky water tentacle monster thing. Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes, attack Sonic now! Froggy? D Who are you? I must say no, don't do it! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. Oh snap, that's not good. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman! If you're wondering how all these characters and how this happened exactly, this chaos form, because I mean it just jumped from like chaos four to six. You'll find out when we play the under other stories. This is what I like about this game. All the stories are interconnected. So if you're left wondering questions, well, even at the end of this Sonic story, there there's still gonna be answers. Now this is kind of a funny boss fight. He's pretty much invulnerable. I mean, you can't do anything to him. Yeah, he sucks you in, he'll do damage. You try to homing attack him, it doesn't do anything. It actually hurts you. So, what is the solution? Well, Eggman kindly drops these frozen sh enemy things, and it freezes him up so you can attack him. I I don't know, I guess Eggman thought he was helping. He probably was like, you know what, this is going to freeze Sonic, and it'll give me a free hit. But I can't even hit the man. Oh, that didn't work. He just changed. What, what is he doing? I've never seen this. Whoa, that is freaky. Whoa, oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta get out of here. How did I not take a hit there? Wow. I, that's the first time I've seen this form because usually I just finish him without him having to change forms at all. Man, this is... <laughs> as, as you can tell, it's a very easy boss fight. Just do it when his mouth opens. I gotta wait. There we go. Boom. Freeze up. There you go. Oh, Eggman. So foolish. He's just like, haha, I'll freeze you, even though I can't even hit him anyway. There's no point. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna suck up. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Alright, I need one more hit, I believe. Yes, I do. Okay. Eggman, drop another one. Be kind to me, please, sir. You want to hit me. Come on. There you go. Wait, come here, come here. Oh, perfect. That was much more easier than I remember. Wow. Even that attack wasn't that bad. But very nice. Due to Eggman's stupidity, we've been able to take down one of the more threatening forms of chaos. If you're wondering, do we get to see all the forms of chaos? I think you see almost all of them, but not exactly all of them. We'll find out when the time comes, because even I don't remember. I can't believe this! He, ran. he was saying that throughout the whole fight, if you weren't uh, focused on my commentary. Which, why wouldn't you be? Is that an insult? 
I'm just joking. <laughs> Sonic always likes to call him an idiot. It's true, how did uh, it take Knuckles this long? Like, jeez, you can fly for God's sakes. Wait, Sonic, what are you doing? No, no, don't... It's like, he's, you know, he, he does whatever he wants, you know? He just goes and jumps off the side of a plane. You know, he doesn't have anything to fly with, but you know what? Hell, I'll just jump off the side of a plane. Why not? You know, that's no problem. Because I'll just plummet into the to the grass area and be totally fine. Face plant and everything. And just totally recover. Uh, I hate Eggman. Yeah, I know, man. He just made me Where's free fall. This? He landed on his face. <laughs> and it's like it was nothing. I would have liked... I you know what I would have liked to hear there? Like that classic spring sound when he hit the ground. Like, boing! And then he just comes right back up and he's like, Ah, oh, I hate Eggman. That would have been so cool if he, they did that. Uh, that's what I was looking forward to when I first saw that. I'm like, where is that noise? And they should have had that dropping noise, too. You know, that, that, that one that goes like... Okay, wait. Actually, this is a very important cutscene. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much in this video. Oh wait, I don't think the cutscene's now, actually. Okay, so we're actually getting into another world. No, no, it's later. Whenever you hear this music, it's an important cutscene. You gotta pay attention. But now we get to go play with Big. That is... Well, let's just say his mode is kind of unique in a way. Unique in quotation marks, let's just say that. Yeah, I won't be talking about Big anymore, but here we go to the Lost World. This is stage... <laughs> this is stage, yeah, not bad. This stage is not too unfair, but there are certain parts of it that are kind of annoying. Otherwise, this stage isn't as bad as Sky Deck, because Sky Deck is just a whole bunch of glitches. This is not so bad. It's actually got a cool atmosphere, the music, just where you are. It's, it's a cool stage. I like it. I just gotta be careful of these things. Whoa coming out of the ground and lighting on fire. How, how in the world are they doing that? Oh, wow. Well, how am I? Wow. Jeez, I did not think I would live through that. Okay, very interesting. I like these little small corridors they have, though. It makes you feel the rush, you know, when Sonic's running. It's, it's cool. Watch out for those chameleon enemies. They'll be everywhere in this stage. Okay. This is the room I don't like. I have died countless times because I've always missed out on one switch. And I'm pretty sure you know which one I'm talking about. Now, making this jump is not that easy either. It may look easy, but sometimes, man, I just totally slip off the snake. Sometimes I end up going through the snake. This is the room that's kind of glitchy. Otherwise, other than this, I don't think it's, it's, that, it's that bad, this stage. This room is the reason I don't really like this stage that much. But otherwise, it's a decent stage. Now, I think I gotta push... Yeah, yeah, I'll push the switch and then wait for the snake to come around. Even right now, I'm having a tough time remembering where that second switch is. That's the one I always miss. I always end up hitting the first and third, and then I'm wondering, well, where did the second one go? Yeah, it's in a pretty good spot, I will be honest with you. Whoa, camera, cooperate with me here. Okay, that's actually the third switch, but I don't want to hit that yet. That's the third switch, so keep that in mind, you're, you get it right there. But the second switch is over here. What you gotta do is if you jump at a right... Why did you... No! No, no, no! Oh, man, my first ever... I think that's the first time I've died in this game. Hasn't it? Oh, wait, no, no, that's not entirely true. I died at Windy Valley. Well, yeah, yeah, that was kind of foolish, but... So was this! That's one thing I would like to see the Sonic, uh... in general, improve on in the future. Even though you might say they produce lock-on targets for the future Sonic games, I still will end up hitting something I don't want to by accident. It happens. That's something they should really fix, because that happens to me a lot, and I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, did I pass the first switch already? Ah, oh, hell, I'll just get the second one. I think I can always come back to that, so it's okay. Whoa! I got on the tail. That was lucky. All right, let's, uh, let's ignore that as well. I just want to go straight for the second switch. Good. All right. Whoa! Okay, that was, that was really close. Okay, what you gotta do here, this is the best thing. Or what you can do as well is up the water level there, and then travel all the way around the snake and don't get off. That's the other thing you can do. Now, that does nothing, right? Okay, I think the first switch is down there, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me take my time. No, 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 don't do that. Okay. Phew! Nearly messed me up again. Alright, then the third switch is pretty much... It's gonna be all in the same direction, so I might as well catch you right on the... 
Forget it. I won't make the same mistake again. I mean, I haven't died by the snake, but still. Let's just wait for it to come around. This music is very common, by the way. It's actually one of the reasons I don't entirely hate this stage too much. Very, very fitting for the stage we're in. And there is the third switch. So that second one's a bit out of the way. Either you can go full circle around or and hit that water level switch, or you can just go over there, do the BA jump, and get it as well. It's up to you what you want to do. If you don't want to take the risk, then just wait. And see how it's now risen there? You just have to go all the way around with the snake. Don't get off at this point. That's what you have to do. But me, I like to do the jump better, because it really... I feel it's more helpful that way. We got a couple of those fire enemies. You know what? I want to see what's over there. Um, wait, wait. Oh, lordy. Oh, no. Oh, I had so many coins. Oh, what is it? Please tell me it's four. Ten. Oh, that is just wonderful. I wasted, what, like 70 coins for ten? Good investment. Good investment. <laughs> Man, okay. So the, now that we've gone through that, that's the only part of the stage I really don't like. Otherwise, this is not so bad, the rest of the stage. I don't mind it. It's a lot of platforming, and again, I'm going to constantly bring up this point where Sonic games are not always about speed. You do have to take your time sometimes, and I like that. I like That's what made Sonic so great, is the mixture of both speed and platforming at the same time. It, it has a good mixture. You have to stop sometimes, you have to speed it up. It's a good mixture, that's what makes Sonic so great. It's not always about running as fast as you can. And some people get that misconception. I don't know why they do. Okay, let me just wait for this guy to get on fire, because these guys, this is the only thing with this part, is you gotta watch out for guys like that, because they could just push you off by accident. Because anytime you get hit by an enemy, you know, you get flung right back, so you gotta be careful when approaching those guys. Now this, just always light on the mirror, and then you get the rest of the way sh shown for you. I don't think you can actually cross these pathways unless you actually shine the light, so be careful of that. Alright, good. What was that squishing noise? You know I always hear that squishing noise in this game? I don't know what it is. I heard it in that Eggman cutscene. I keep hearing it. I don't know if you do too, but I'm always hearing it. Okay. Good. Whoa, Nelly, that is cool. And now we're in a random part of the stage. That Oh, perfect. I didn't even have to go across. I didn't have to do any water platforming. Excellent. Alright. Now, this part of the stage you'll recognize- Oh wait, not this part of the stage, what am I talking about? But it's a rolling ball of fire, oh my god, run as fast as you can, Sonic, now this is what I'm talking about, it's so crazy, it's action, it's Indiana Jones, going away from a ball of fire, he's going down the track, he's almost making- Oh, he crashes into the wall, but he got some good speed, and he makes it through without breaking a sweat. Nice. You always got a- You always got segments like that in Sonic, where it kind of resembles Indiana Jones, I always like segments like that, because it's perfect. You just got Sonic running as fast as you can, dodging everything, and they do something similar to that in Sonic Adventure 2. That's what I always like about Adventure 2, is that they brought back cool things from this game as well. But, fortunately, I'll get into that another time, when I probably LP that game. Uh, does that do anything? No, it does not. This room's a little interesting. I like this room, actually. It basically involves a little gravity. Sometimes you can slip off, you gotta be careful, so just take your time. Don't hit those fire things, and you'll be fine. If you speed, try to speed through this though, often, more often than not, you'll end up falling. Because that happens to me a lot when I just, when I don't take my time. Okay, let's be careful. Whoa, I didn't know those moved. That surprised me, and I lost my coins again. Darn, I can't keep up a consistent coin rate in this one. At least the last one ended up with 80. Maybe I can do the same here. Just gotta get a lot of coins now. Okay. Whoa, get off. There you go. Okay, wait for those fiery boxes of doom, and another fiery enemy, I'm just gonna ignore you, forget you. Alright, wait for this, and perfect. I think we're pretty much done with the harder parts of this stage. Oh wait, no, still got this to go. Can't go up there, right? Alright. Just go... Walking on walls is so much fun. This is... I've always liked this. <laughs> when you defy gravity in games, it's cool. When it's done right, it's really cool, and you feel it. When it's done wrong, you feel cheated. That's why if you're going to ever introduce gravity in game, you've got to make it work well. That goes for anything, really, actually. Okay. I think this way, yep, that's a trail of coins. And... perfect! Go! Alright, we already got back to 80, that's wonderful. I think we're pretty much at the end of the stage, actually. Yep, we are. Yes. Alright, that wasn't so bad, actually. 76 coins, alright, so... So far, this has been my worst yeah, one. Even bad. though it wasn't so bad... It wasn't that... It, it was still okay. 
number 11 emblem. And now we get an important cutscene. I will stay quiet through this because it is important. Wow, what's this? A mural. Just had to ruin the, mo ruin the moment, didn't you? Stupid loading screen. Sorry, I couldn't stay quiet. What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. Alright, I think I get to control Sonic here. But... This cutscene may not make sense to you at first. In fact, this is the place where you get the Master Emerald. This cutscene that I'm about to show, that you're about to see, probably won't make sense at first. But, anytime we come here, just make sure to take note of this. And listen, for I am not going to speak. Again, you might have questions, well, where did this come from? What happened? Well, I won't be saying anything quite as yet. Just always remember, look at these cutscenes, just think about them as you may. If you haven't played the game already, what then obviously about? you wouldn't know. And just try to piece together. Here. Every type of story we do, you always see a cutscene like that. Mm -hmm. So always piece them together and try to figure out what's happening. That's, that's something I like about this game, is that part of the story. It's pretty cool. But now we got Eggbag going off with his own little Eggbot type of thing. That's right, Sonic. You go and get him. And that's going to be in the next one. We are going to track down Eggman and possibly finish Sonic's story. I don't think we have too much longer. So until next time, this is Mario Central signing off right outside the base of Eggman himself. Oh my goodness.